the most calming? For me, it was blue. And which font style was it? Um, yeah. It was the one in the middle. So that that's it right that's there. That's nice. Yeah. So nice. So it was like 100% accuracy. Yeah, it was accurate. Right. The gray color, 44.9, so 45. What is it? Beats per second? Beats per minute? Yeah. Beats per minute. So 45 beats per minute for gray, and then on the most challenging was bright green. And it happens that you also already yeah, changed. I've also gone gray on my phone. Did that a few months ago. I just did it as a fun experiment because somebody else was doing it. Okay. I had no intention behind it. I had no expectation behind it. But it's funny, it's, it's been about three months that I've gone gray and I haven't once changed it back. Oh. And now I've got data to understand why I didn't want to change it back. Well, I found what I was looking for. Yes? I, I was When I was uh, looking at the colors, Nice. I said I like this color the most, and I said I like this font the most. And then that's what it picked. Blue. And which font style you found coming? I don't know the name of the font, but uh, I, I, I like this font. As soon as I looked at it, I liked the font. Um, the, the pink and the blue I found very calming. Yeah. And the font was yes. nice. So you found like the accuracy was uh, was pretty high. Pretty high. Mm -hmm. Nice. And yeah, beautiful. So you think this could be promising to help people calm down using their... Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Pretty much so. Uh, it was gray, mm -hmm. uh, which was interesting because I also feel very calm and comfortable when it's raining. Mm -hmm. So I think the gray color actually would really work. Nice. So yeah, yeah. Nice. So cool. I thought it was very interesting and now I know uh, <laughs> what color works for me. Nice. Yeah. So you the, the results for that? And the font style also, do you yeah, find the font that? Style, uh, to me, felt very human. Mm -hmm. uh, it was kind of quite cute, almost like an animated stick figure kind of. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I liked it too. It right. felt very friendly, the font. I had the least aroused response to gray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. And sort of your heart rate was six beats per minute less using gray. So if you would have a grayscale you know, as a chat app on your design, probably lower your beats per minute. It would lower my heart rate. Your heart rate. Yeah. yeah. That green I couldn't even really look at, so that makes sense. And I guess the yellow as well, sort of in the same kind of brightness, you know, family. But it, it makes a lot of sense because this pink is kind of like a signature color for me in life. Yeah. So I I associate with it. It's really cool. And now I'm gonna paint my office this color. Thank you. And only write with this font. Oh nice. <laughs> Sweet, thank you. The colors I wasn't so sure on. Um, because they're all kind of shocking colors. I'm a pastel kind of guy. Okay. But I could definitely see in retrospect that the green was better. The yellow scared the crap out of me. It was like, ah! Yeah. Um, and then on the fonts, that little one there, I definitely like that one. So, um, so that was really accurate. That's cool. Nice. Was the pink and blue pink softer for sure? And the blue reminds me of oceans, which are just two different things I'm generally attracted to. I also wear those colors a lot too. So, yeah. And the font style? Yeah, that was the one for sure I liked the most each time. Nice. And I type which font like that I always choose too. Wow. So, yeah. Nice, cool. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks. So, the color for you and the font style. Uh, so the, the color for me is blue, and the font uh, style is uh, Calibri, yeah. um, which is a very clean, modern font. And do you think, like, from like the results, that it correlate with your own self reports? Yeah, yeah. I mean, as we were just talking about, I think the blue definitely is a color I gravitate towards. It's a color I've chosen for my bedroom. Uh, gray, which is also up there, is also the color I choose for my living room. Um, so it makes a lot of sense. In the font style? The font style, yeah. We, we, uh, I definitely was feeling like the, the simple font was, was the one I felt most calm with. Um, as we got into the sans serif, like the Times, New Roman, and whatever that impact one was, didn't like those. I, I've never really liked those, so that's, that data wasn't surprising. But this is also a very intimate font style for you, which got picked because you, you use it in your, you chose it in your personal life? First one. Yeah. yeah, I use it in all my emails, and, and even in my PowerPoints, yeah. Apparently, I gravitate towards gray, mm -hmm. the N-D-I-I-M, mm -hmm. and 
I just made a little revelation that my home is gray. I, I've got gray floors, relatively gray walls and gray furniture. So gray is actually very, it's, I equate with comfort and being at home. Nice, thank you so much. You're welcome. So the, I ended up with pink, which is not a color that I typically gravitate towards as far as I don't decorate or dress in pink or I don't use pink, but um, I did realize then that when I meditate sometimes, I meditate on a very soft, soft pink, uh, like mist or light for my breath. Um, so that's um, where I don't really apply it in other areas of my life, I do use it in my meditation sometimes. Okay, so which which color? So you just tried to tell which color? Um, gray first and blue second. Gray first and blue second, yeah. and then which font style you can choose here? I would say this one first and this one second. Okay. Hmm. Blue and gray. It's true. Yes.